Welcome back to the World Tour channel. Today we will show you a new video about another country. We will give you fun but informative stuff here on our channel. Today we will talk about which country is better for traveling between Indonesia and Malaysia. Indonesia and Malaysia are neighboring countries. Indonesia, a Southeast Asian nation between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and Malaysia is a Southeast Asian country occupying parts of the Malay Peninsula and the island of Borneo. Both are very beautiful and amazing countries to travel to. Number 10. Weather For Indonesia, the dry season in Indonesia spans from May to September and this is the most popular time to visit Indonesia. The wet season is between October and April with rainfall occurring in short heavy bursts. There are some regional expectations and North Sulawesi experiences some rain in June and July. Temperatures remain fairly constant year-round with averages of 28 degrees Celsius throughout the region. For Malaysia, the weather in Malaysia is hot and humid year-round, interspersed with tropical rain showers. The wet season on the east coast is between November and February, which is when the west coast experiences sunny, dry weather. Conversely, the wettest months of the west coast are April to October, which are the driest months of the east coast. Number 9. Beaches Indonesia. Indonesia is known for its beaches. These beaches are very unique and beautiful. Flores resides within Komodo National Park, has a soft pink color. There are other breathtaking beaches, Tanjan An Beach in Lombok, Nyang Nyang Beach in Bali, Hadar Island in Flores, Karimuni Jawa Islands in Central Java, Koko Beach in Flores, Maui Beach in Lombok, and the 17 islands in Flores. For Malaysia, Malaysia has both quiet and also packed beaches to relax in. The names of some of these beaches are Long Beach in Harhanthian Kiso, Turtle Beach in Paranthian Besar, Coral Beach in Radang Island, the Taras Beach and Spa Resort, Pantai Senang in Langkawi, Palu Kupas in the coast of Marang, Gem Island Beach and the Mini Island Resort Getaway off of Palu Kupas, Jura Beach in Tioman Island, Perlaya Langkawi Resort, Private Beach, Tangjang Ru in Langkawi, and many more. Number 8 Cities Indonesia, there are various cities to explore while in Indonesia. Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, is a dynamic place full of life. Best cities to visit are Yogyakarta, Ubud, Benjamasin, Kuta, Surabaya, Medan, Jayapura, Palembang, Banda Aceh, and Samarang. In Malaysia, there are many fascinating cities to visit in Malaysia. Kuala is a massive multicultural metropolitan capital that really does have something for everyone. Alor Sattar, the capital of Kedah State, also known as the Rice Bowl of Malaysia, lying around 30 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya is a planned city that hosts the government's administrative body. There are also many other great cities to visit such as Kuala Terengganu, Kota Baru, Miri, Kota Kinabalu, and Malacca. Number 7. Cuisine. Indonesian cuisine is very unique and tasty. Indonesian satay is meat skewers that are cooked over coals. Spicy beef rendang is a rich dish originating from Padang, Sumatra. One of our favorite desserts would be Indonesian sweet matarbak. There are also many different and exquisite foods to try such as fried rice, nasi rawan, sop buton, siome, indomie, nasi uduk, and last but not least, pen. Malaysia. Malaysia is a food haven and there are a lot of delicacies you must try while you are traveling in the country. The national food of Malaysia is nasi lemak. Hokkien mee is a noodle dish that is quite popular in Malaysian cuisine. Banana leaf rice is served on a banana leaf. There are also many dishes such as bakute, char rice, satay, roti kanai, sendol, sarwak laksa, rendang, Sanghar noodles, nasi kandar, tanjung tualang, fresh river prawns. Number 6. Islands. Indonesia has very beautiful archipelago and islands. The Indonesian archipelago has about 18,307 islands. Bali is by far the most popular and globally known of the Indonesian islands. Although it can 
yet crowded here during the high season, it remains one of the best islands in Indonesia to visit. Also known as the Island of the Gods, there are also exotic islands such as Raja Ampat Islands, Gili Islands, Flores Islands, Banda Islands, Banga Balutong Islands, and Lombok. In Malaysia, situated between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, the group of over 25,000 islands is the largest archipelago by area and fourth by number of islands in the world. Malaysia has around 878 islands, most of which are still not inhabited. Some of the popular ones you can visit are Langkawi, Perhutian Islands, Palau Teman, Redang, Palau Mabu, and Sepada. Palau Tango, Penang, Palau Kapas, Palau Angkor. These islands and archipelago are very beautiful. Number 5. Landmarks Indonesia. Landmarks are iconic construction that exists in a city based on its history. Then, it's a heritage must be kept exist to remember the people of the past that involves in its construction. Monas is the national monument located in Jakarta. Tanalot is a temple considered as part of the universal heaven in Bali. Other famous landmarks are the Clock Tower in West Sumat Sumatra, Ampera Bridge in South Sumatra, Soramadu Bridge in Madura, Jadang State in West Java, Heroes Monument in East Java, Sempang Lima Gemo in East Java, Balturaman Mosque in Ake, Surabaya Monument in East Java. For Malaysia, there are many architectural monuments in Malaysia to visit. Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of Malaysia. The most recognizable symbolic landmark of Malaysia, the Petronas Twin Towers, stand at the beacon of modern urbanization of Kuala Lumpur. The 88-story Twin Toppers holds the title for the 12 tallest skyscrapers in the world. Menara Kuala Lumpur is the 7th tallest freestanding tower and the 7th tallest communication minar minaret in the world. Masjid Naj Najara is the National Mosque of Malaysia, Benagang Sultan Abdul Samad. Number 4. Wildlife. In Indonesia, Indonesian islands are known for high levels of biodiversity and endemicity of wild animals and birds. Sundaland of Indonesia includes Sumatra, Java, and Borneo Islands are home to the most rare and unique wild animals such as the Javan Hawk Eagle, Indonesian Merak, Malio Bird, Siaw Island Tar Tarsier, Bentang, King Cobra, and Javan Slolores. There are also unique species, species such as Sumateran Tiger, Komodo Dragon, Anoa Buffalo, Javan Rhinoceros, Sumatran Orangutan, Borneo Elephant, Black Macaw, Sunda Clouded Leopard. In Malaysia, the wildlife of Malaysia is diverse, with Malaysia being a mega diverse country. Most of the country is covered by rainforest, which hosts a huge diversity of plants and animal species. There are approximately 361 mammal species, 694 bird species, 250 reptile species, and 150 frog species found in Malaysia. There are unique species such as the Malayan tiger, Asian elephant, Sumatran rhinoceros, Malayan tapir, lesser mouse deer, Malayan pangolin, guar, leatherback sea turtle, Bomian orangutan, Siamang, Mayan peacock pheasant. For number three, culture, Indonesian. The culture of Indonesia has been shaped by a long interaction between original indigenous customs and multiple foreign influences. There are at least 300 ethnic groups in Indonesia, each with their own set of customs and distinct cultural objects. Hence, the culture is diverse and exotic. Bahasa Indonesia is the official language of Indonesia, an archipelago of 17,508 islands that is, is the world's largest Muslim-majority nation with a total population of nearly 242 million. Over 300 different native languages are spoken in Indonesia. The arts, specifically painting, wood carving, dance, traditional music, and puppetry are very much alive in Indonesia. The most well-known art forms are produced in Java and Bali. For Malaysia, the Malaysian culture is very unique within Malaysian society. There is a Malay culture, a Chinese culture, an Indian culture, a Eurasian culture, along with the cultures of the indigenous groups of the peninsula and North Borneo. A unified Malaysian culture is something only emerging in the country. Malaysian people are very humble. Number two, travel costs. 
The comparison of travel costs between Malaysia and Indonesia examines average prices across multiple categories. The average daily cost of per person per day is $44 in Indonesia and $74 in Malaysia. The average accommodation cost of hotel and hostel for one person is $23 in Indonesia and $41 in Malaysia. The average food cost of a person in Indonesia is $13 and $16 in Malaysia. Entertainment costs such as entrance tickets, shows, etc. are $8 in Indonesia and $19 in Malaysia. Number 1. Natural Wonders In Indonesia, a, which is a tropical archipelago full of natural beauties, more than one person can enjoy in their lifetime. Three Colored Lake Kelmutu is located in Kelmutu Mountain. Jawa Jawa Top is characterized in seven summits, seven tops of the world. Prambanan Temple is the greatest Hindu temple along with Bora Bora Dor. Prambanan is located in central Java, Yogi Jakarta. Bordoro is located in central Java and it was built in Sandera Dynasty according to the relief written around in every temple wall. Malaysia is full of natural attractions. Mount Kinabalu is situated situated on the island of Borneo. Batu Cave are situated in Gompak district at a short dive from Kuala Lumpur. Batu Caves are one of the most prominent natural wonders in Malaysia. The area has a large number of caves, Hindu temples and shrines making it highly popular among travelers and devotees. Wulu National Park has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Penang National Park charms travelers with its amazing offerings. Royal Balam State Park is one of the major destinations for ecotourism in Malaysia. Choosing where to travel mainly depends on your perspective. Both are very beautiful countries with many things to discover and enjoy. Hope you enjoy traveling to both countries. Thank you for watching our channel. If you think this video is helpful, please share and subscribe to support so we can continue to create more helpful content.